Hello, in this video I will present you pipelines and how to visualize them. Pipelines are this very useful tool that scikit-learn has uh, and that will help us um, combine one or more data transformations with a final classifier or regressor model and actually the resulting pipeline object can itself be treated as a machine learning model. It will have the advantage that it will help us avoid the repetitive coding, but also it will uh, prevent data leaking between the training and the testing set during the validation of a model. So they are really useful and um, because of that, the goal of this video is to make you feel comfortable with them and how to visualize them, as I said. So let's get started by first loading the Ames housing dataset, which contains the sale price of several houses in Ames, Iowa. And our objective will be to predict as accurately as possible whether if the price of a house was above or below this 200,000 US dollars threshold. And we can take a look at the head of the dataset and realize that uh, here we have uh, the column names and even some NAM values which means that we have missing values in our data set but don't worry too much about this you will not encounter missing values anywhere else in the MOOC except uh, in the Ames housing data set in the appendix uh, which I strongly encourage you to go and take a look at it to uh, familiarize a little bit more with it but for now, let's just uh, focus on um, these column names that I semi-arbitrarily chose, uh, hoping that they will be predictive enough uh, for our model. For instance, the lot area means the actual size of the property in a square feet. So that's probably really predictive for our model, but also the number of full bathrooms and half bathrooms are really useful. and the name of the neighborhood, the style of the house, whether if it has so one, two, one and a half floors, this is encoded as a categorical feature. And for keeping things simple, I will just uh, retain this uh, subset of data. Good, now we are ready to create the pipeline. And uh, for doing so, the first thing that we have to do is uh, assign aliases to each step. For instance, here I just call the simple imputer, I will call it uh, imputer. And the strategy median means that whenever it encounters a missing value inside a column, it will replace it with the median value of set column. And remember that it's quite important to scale your data. Uh, for the categorical features, uh, we will use a one hot encoder. Uh, with the strategy ignore, which means uh, that whenever it encounters a missing value, it will just assign it a vector with uh, zeros everywhere. Uh, now we use a column transformer to actually implement these transformations. Uh, we have to assign aliases also. For instance, num will design the numerical transformer applied to the numerical features and similarly for the categorical transformer, I will just call it cat. And we will uh, assemble these uh, steps inside our pipeline. Remember that pipelines are, um, are sensitive to the position. So we will first uh, pre-process the data and then use a logistic regression classifier. Now we are ready to visualize uh, our pipeline by using this uh, set config. And whenever you click one of these objects uh, here, you can see which kind of attributes you passed. For instance, the simple imputer, with the, you can see that you passed the strategy median. And um, for the logistic regression, you're just using the default values. And whenever you click again on these things, um, you can you can click again and hide it and if you click on num for instance which was the alias of the numerical feature the numerical transformer actually uh, you can see the name of the columns that you pass to this transformer similarly for the cat what we that we defined 
and if you click here you will see the the, the part of the code where you actually define the, the preprocessor. Great, now we are finally ready to score our model and let's see what happens. Great, we see that around 86% of the times we will uh, have our model will make a correct prediction of the price. So I think that for such a simple model, it's, it's not bad. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.